Hello guys, welcome to this new video again. In the previous video, we have seen how to define structure that is a schema for our database and how to create database and add some data to the database. Now in this video, I am going to teach you how to add, delete, update. So basically we are going to do CRUD operations that is create, read, update, delete. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I will create here hashtag to crud.js. So first of all, what we will do is we will just uh, create a basic server here. So I have created the basic server. Now, first of all, we will use some middlewares. So what I will do is I will simply create here some routes that is app.get and we will here create a database. So in the previous video, we have already seen that how to create a database. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to watch that. So I will not make a tutorial how to do C operation from the CRUD operation that is create. Instead, I will show you RUD operation that is read, update and delete operations. So as you can see, you just need to create the schema and you have to require that you have to provide its the field value that you have provided in your schema structure and you have to just use the dot save function and you can handle it by via callback or you can just use the await or promises so we will here do read that is how to read all the data in our databases so i will do a request response and for now let's say that response dot send you are reading reading the data from the database so i will open my terminal right here and i will create a node one and we will use mongoose with node and express and hashtag to crud.js and we will run this so as you can see, we got that server started listening on port 3000. Now we are ready to make requests. So I will do localhost 3000 and I will do a read. So we got that you are reading the data from the database. So now what I want to do is I want to read all the data from the databases. So first of all, we have already made the schema for our databases. Now let's just require it. So I will just write here const uh, I think I have made the tutorial so I have to require it tutorial is equal to require and we have to require from the current directory and you can specify dot js but in node it assumes that you are reading js file so now what I will do instead of using the promises we can actually use async and await so what do I mean by async and await? So in a short form, just that we have to done in the previous tutorial that we have to use dot then to get the data. Instead, it's a very, it is a very simple uh, way to do this without using these long stuffs without using dot then dot then. So we can actually make this function as asynchronous. It means that uh, it doesn't happen immediately it will take time something to uh, what it is meant by asynchronous code we will talk about in the other videos if you comment down because asynchronous is already a very deep field in javascript so if you want then make sure to comment that but you can think that asynchronous is a task or asynchronous task is something task that doesn't happen immediately it 
is a very lengthy task or it may take some time to complete the tasks so with that interval the program should uh, move on and do other tasks while just waiting for the asynchronous asynchronous task to complete so if you haven't get it then make sure to comment down i will create definitely a video about it so what i will do i will do const get all the data get all data is equal to await we will await and we will it means that we will wait for it to finish and i will write a user dot find what this will does is it will give all the data that is present in our databases and i will just write here console.log get all the data so i think we will get that if i make again request or i will just refresh this as you can see we are getting a depreciated value so what's that let's figure it out so it is saying that user is not defined so actually we have to use a tutorial not user so i will just save it again and again i will make the request and we don't get any data because i think we haven't made any so let me just refresh it again and again and as you can see we are not getting anything because before sending any thing response we have to first do all the tasks so i will refresh this so i will refresh that so it's due to because we have actually integrated the schema but we haven't connect to our mongoose database so first we have to connect to the mongoose database so let's ignore the spelling for now so i will use here const mongoose is equal to require mongoose and i will just go down here and i will write mongoose.connect i will use the mongodb protocol and forward slash localhost and i think we made something right there or i will just copy this all code here that we used in the previous video and let's refresh our server so as you can see we finally get our databases so as you can see so if i made that restart the our server again as you can see it is telling that server started and if i refresh this immediately we will see that we got an array of objects of all our data present so as you can see we have the data that is present in our databases and we can actually use this in our various routes so we can find uh, it it is gonna give me all the data that is present in our database by using by using the dot find function and we can actually use dot find one as well and we can provide here some parameters that is my name is let's say that I want to grab this database okay so I will just provide the name that and if I refresh this again and let me just make the request as you can see we got only object for this time we used find one so find one only returns an object instead of array of objects so what does the find do does that it returns all the data that is present in our databases whereas the find one function returns only a particular database that we want so this is how we can read the operation so now i am going to show you how to update the database so in the previous uh, so as you can see we got the find one if i refresh this so i want to update the database so how can i do that so instead of using dot find you can simply use that update one so what this will does is we want to update the data that's name is programming with certain is definitely this and i want to update its age so i will do that comma and it takes another objects that will update it to 
so i will provide here i want so the, it is a very simple syntax that is i want to update one and what i want to update I want to update the data which has name of programming with session and let, let's just replace its name that is key of age to whatever you give here so I will write here 20 okay and if I do here get all data I think I should get true so if I refresh this so as you can see modified okay it means that our data is successfully updated so let me just copy this all copy instead of using update one I am going to use find and I am going to find all the databases found db and I am just going to console dot console dot log this okay so if I refresh this as you can see Previously it was is 14. Now what I did, I actually updated it. So I said that update the particular database which has name of programming with Sajan and I want you to update the is to be 20. So what this dot what this did is actually it grabbed this data and it changes the is of 14 to 20. So this is how you can do the update operation as well. And trust me. I'm going to show you how to delete one. So, just delete pro delete text only one parameter that you want to delete. So, I will just use a delete one, and you just need to provide a particular database. You can give your ID, you can give your name. So I give your name. So I just want. So I'm just telling that you just need to delete a particular database which is name of programming with Sajan. So if I save that, and if I refresh this. As you can see that database got deleted and I can do multiple things as well so I can use the delete many delete many and delete many takes array of objects and I can give multiple objects here which it can delete so I will write a name which has programming with Sajan name so programming with Sajan has actually got deleted so we do not need to provide that name which has Sajan and the name which has Manish. Let me just save it and let me my server refresh. And if I make the request again, as you can see, we got some errors. Delete many must be an object. Sorry, so I must provide objects here, right? So we can provide that or I can use multiple things as well as it. So I want to just delete one. So I will delete one particular database which has name of Sajan for now let's say. And if I made the request again as you can see my database got deleted. So if I refresh this again it will delete again my databases. And as you can see now we got empty array which means that our no data is present in our database so this is how you can do basically crowd operations so in the next video i actually forgot about one thing that how to serve static files so in the next video i am going to teach you how to serve static files in express.js so stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and share this playlist as much as you can so that others can learn too and i am going to soon make dino tutorial as well because it's in very demand now so see you in the next video